Although often disagreeing with academic explanations regarding the origin and past constructor of many of the world's as yet unexplained ruins, some have become so old, the field of geology can often become an ally to these deliberate misconceptions, supporting the premise based around permitted timelines, events already dated and published, disguised assumptions as to the timeline for the development and chronological dating for Homo sapiens' initial globetrotting, with a timeline for their travels across Earth supposedly already established. Additionally, as the ruins contradictory to this timeline of events age and slowly erode away to the point of near unidentifiability, this predictably allows these same geologists to merely dismiss such artifacts as natural formations. However, sometimes ruins will turn up in locations that have already been explored, dated, and explained by these same fields. This accurate study of terrain shift, completed by scholars prior to the discovery of ancient ruins, later discovered to be resting, hidden within these particular places. Submerged ruins that geology had already established a timeline for when these areas in question were originally flooded. As such, when ancient ruins are found to be submerged in these locations, instead of remaining an ally for the currently attested timeline of events, have already condemned themselves through their accurate dating of the rise in water levels, thus instead become unwitting advocates for the fact that not only do these ruins undeniably outdate the current attested chronology of the development of civilization, but prove beyond doubt that past now lost civilizations did indeed once exist, with many of these advanced cultures, just as biblical and Atlantean legends have long suggested, sunk into the sea during a great flood, only rediscovered with the use of penetrative radar systems attached to modern satellites. We have in the past covered the ancient ruins found off the coast of Cuba, also submerged under ancient waters which includes a compelling pyramid complex. Also, the Bimini Road, which although clearly of an artificial nature, has to be dismissed by the modern academic world, clearly due to the vast amount of time that such ruins have been submerged. With many of these sites, according to geological studies done upon local sea levels, also before said discoveries were exposed, dating them to a minimum of 12,000 years of age. These discoveries have not just been made within the oceans of Earth. Thanks to this same technology, a mega metropolis has also been found under the dense jungles of Guatemala. This discovery, although not sharing the same undeniable data for its age, supported by geological study, is of such an unimaginably enormous size, revealed to contain such advanced architectural planning, that it and many other similar sites have forced many fields of historical study to re-evaluate their understandings of past populations, of what we strongly believe are, in fact, remnants of a now lost, yet once highly successful, prosperous ancient civilization. And our subject for this video was found by the most unlikely of individuals, a skipper of a trawler, scanning the seabed with sonar off the coast of Azores, was stunned when he peered at his readout screen and was met by the outline of a near pristine ancient pyramid. After sharing his discovery with the mainstream media, certain individuals with penetrative satellite radar systems were equally astonished to discover that this ancient now submerged pyramid, just like Guatemala, is but a single piece of yet another mega metropolis that was hidden until now that according to previous geological studies of the sea levels around the Spanish coast, has been dated at a minimum of 100,000 years old, overwhelming evidence to support not only the channel's continued posit of hidden, highly ancient, once highly advanced lost civilization, but that modern academia continued to be funded to ignore them, going to great lengths to conceal such discoveries although exploration is currently at its early stages. We will, of course, keep you posted. It is undoubtedly highly compelling.